We can talk about what corals need to build successful reefs, and it seems like a fairly extensive list of requirements. We find all of these things in abundance in tropical waters. You need warm water for them to grow their skeletons. You need clear water because they have to receive a lot of sunlight. You need a fair amount of wave action, keeps the water well oxygenated. And salinity has to be right also. They can't handle a lot of fresh water. You tend to find coral reefs on the eastern margin of continents, not on the western margin. And the reason being that the oceanographic conditions are very different on either side. On the western margins of continents, because of atmospheric circulation and oceanic circulation due to the rotation of the Earth, you have lots of cool currents coming toward the tropics from the poles. On the eastern margin, the waters tend to be quieter, they're more tropical, they're clear because you don't have all of that circulation. Perfect conditions for corals. Coral reefs are the most diverse type of habitat in the oceans. More marine species live in coral reefs than anywhere else in the oceans. And that's very important for ecological diversity, evolutionary diversity. It's also economically very important in the regions where reefs occur. They're major natural resources for human populations. The first thing is certainly food locally, that people that live within proximity to coral reefs depend on the fish for their protein sources and jobs. You can get jobs from tourism and from fishing and then the economic benefits from there that go into the community. And then the second one is the buffer capacity of corals to prevent the flooding and storm surge. That's especially important as sea level rises. People want to know how much are coral reefs valued at globally. I've seen a number, $375 billion. Sometimes economists will put artificial values on things. It kind of simplifies what the real value of something is. I mean, especially a coral reef. How can you capture the value of biodiversity or a tourist going and snorkeling in a healthy reef and what they bring back with them for the rest of their lives? You can't capture that monetarily. But I think that we need something or the policymakers are just left without anything. They need some numbers in their hands to make justification for protecting coral reefs or for making other decisions that prevent development or other type of destruction that can bring harm to the coral reefs. People do depend on coral reefs. 